Well, here is the last of the individual gold medal matches at these World Veteran Fencing Championships. And it's time to shine a light on the Category A men's individual epee gold medal match. Guido Quantz of uh, Germany on the right, up against Michel Guy of France on the left. Luca Key of Italy will be on the video for this match and uh, taking hold of the refereeing duties in the centre of the piste will be Iraq's Alafala. comfortable semi-final victories for uh, both of these athletes uh, I suppose what's telling is that uh, Quantz had to come through his teammate Rudy Zapelius which is always a, a tough one 10-6 he won that one at Guy won against Daniel Marcus the other Germans in the semi-finals 10-7 so it's time to go for gold in the 50-59s men's epe individual category here in Cairo Going out early this time. He's stepping away and using his uh, extra reach. He, he does have a French grip, but he had tends to hold it quite close to the guard. I'm saying that, it looks like he may well have changed from that grip he was using earlier. And again on the counter, using his extra reach here, the left hander against the left hander means the uh, chest is at the open side of the target. We're used to seeing unusual results in uh, Epe tournaments. Well, how about this for an unusual result? After the pool stages, the top 11 seeds went out before the quarterfinals. Guy on fire here. You know, Quantz was uh, only ranked 33rd after the pause. Michelle Guy, 51. He's certainly not the lineup you would have called after the pool stages. But Guy here controlling the distance. He's keeping Quantz at bay, and as soon as Quantz steps anywhere near, the distance that Guy feels he can hit, he goes out on the attack and four times out of four he's executed perfectly. A para repos this time, Guy not setting that one up as well as he had the previous four. is going to go and have a, a look at this one uh, but uh, I'm not sure this hit's going to stand because I think uh, that Michel Guy had almost done a full 360 before he landed uh, a prim riposte to the low line Michel Guy, that's uh, Garhart on the wrong side of the board on the scoreboard. Oh, now he's reset the clock. 
We're probably going to have to come back and have a look at the video to see what, uh, what how much time was left on the clock. And uh, Luca Key does indeed uh, start to stroll towards the video referral system. Uh, we'll look at how much time was on the clock before he accidentally reset the system. Yellow card, I'm not quite sure what that's been given for, but uh, certainly an infringement and no real massive complaint from Michel Guy. There we go. We've got the clock actually counting down now. I wonder if the referee's going to have to reset that again. And they actually let it, let it run down deliberately because it was at 146. No hit given. Yellow card for Michel Guy. He leads 4 2. This 4 gold in the category A men's individual epi tournament. French coach has come out and uh, asked to check the score. I think this is right, I've got to be honest with you. You can't score a hit and get a yellow card at the same time. Ah, so it's the one that's uh, been reduced, uh, the two that's been reduced on uh, Guido's side. So that was a good shout from uh, the French coach. So 4-1. going back to trying to control this one using his feet, using distance. And I think that is the way forward for him. Doesn't actually need to come out on the attack at all. He's got the lead. So it's uh, down to his opponent to make sure the hit rate continues to climb. Meeting in the middle, point coming up here, and Guy actually uh, acknowledges to referee Alafala that uh, he's hit the outside of the piece there, so no hit given. That's a beauty. He clipped him on there inside of the wrist there. That's going for uh, the leg, but uh, landed it nonetheless. And just uh, 20 odd seconds left and a double as Quantz again for the second time in this fight has just uh, let his patience get the better of him and oh, his impatience get the better of him, I should say. Um, stepping in. A little bit too sharply. Oh, and it's another attack. The surprise attacks from distance now working for Michel Guy. He's dominated this fight apart from a mini rally from Guido Quantz in the first period. Uh, time has run out. We go into the break and it's uh, an 8 3 
lead for Michel Guy of France. They have a minute's break. The big thing here is that Guido Quant has to press the match here. He has to take it uh, to Michel Guy. The lead is big enough that he's really going to have to start pushing from the off in the second period. And that just plays into the hands of the uh, leading fencer. A lot of work to do for Guido Quantz, Michel Guy, in the box seat. Well, while we have this uh, few seconds, I can let you know that, uh, like I said, this is the last of the individual tournaments here uh, in Cairo at these championships, these wonderful championships. Tomorrow we'll feature the uh, men's and women's team EPE competitions. 14 teams in the men's competition, nine in the women's. And we'll be bringing you live coverage. If we can, we will try to bring you coverage from the quarterfinals. It's all very dependent on them, whether we have uh, our camera operators at that time. But we'll certainly be bringing you the semi-finals and uh, then the uh, medal matches a little bit later on, on the last day of the championships tomorrow. But now it's time to find out whether Michelle Guy can convert this massive lead he has into a win. And quite frankly, I think he can. It's just a matter of how much time it's going to take him. Well, the reason for the pause here is that uh, when the clock was reset uh, previously, um, it was reset to two minutes just to speed up the process of getting down to 146, you know, which is where they were. So when the, re the clock has been reset this time, uh, it's reset to those two minutes. And they have finally sorted out, it is on three, and we start the second period. Michelle Guy on the brink of a world title. Oh, lovely. As soon as Quantz went looking for that circular seat, he opened up the underside of his forearm and Michel Guy, super accurate. One away. Is he going to try and finish with an attack? Michel Guy, they're exceptionally close now. Very close indeed. Guy wants to finish with a showboating hit, I think. He's got too close though, and Guido Quantz took his time to find a way through, but does. Frenchman looks like he wants a big finish. Uh, he's uh, shipping hits at the moment. That's two in a row. And the French crowd calling on and saying, go back to the distance game. Go back to the game where you were in control. Michel Guy is making this a little bit easy for Guido Quantz. He doesn't need to attack, and all of a sudden he's just calmed down a little bit. He's pressing, uh, but Guido Quantz now is looking to see whether he can lure him in to uh, a, a bit of impatience himself. Quantz has scored three very quick hits here. Closing the gap right up. And that is why Michel Guy had to show his patience because when the opportunity came, the reach advantage was there for him to take the 2019 world title. Congratulations, Michel Guy. You are the world champion. Brilliant performance overall. A little wobble at the end when I think Michel Guy wanted to co go out with a spectacular hit. He realised the world title was more important and took the title 10-6. Well, that's the end of defencing action today. Uh, we're going to strip down the piece.